Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about function overloading in C++. A functions with the same name and return type but with different parameters or set of parameters are said to be overloaded functions. So these overloaded functions are useful in applications where a function with a particular name that produces certain type of output might need to be invoked with different set of parameters. So it is nothing but writing the functions with the same name but with different set of parameters. So here just for the demonstration purpose in our tutorial we are gonna write the function called display and this display function is gonna take different set of parameters. So just for the demonstration purpose here in uh, our program I'm gonna write the function name void display and then let's say this function this display function is not going to take any arguments so it's going to be see out and we're just going to print out some text just for the demonstration purpose let's say hi what's up all right let's end this line and then let's say we need to write a function with the same name display and uh, that function need to print out the past string or the name of the person which is passed so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in the next line and here our function is gonna take a string argument and before using string we need to include the header file hash include string and then so it's gonna take a string so it's gonna be string and let me call it as name hi what's up and then I'm gonna add that name here so now we have two functions with the name display and one is going to take no parameter and another one is going to take one parameter. So writing two or more functions with the same name and with different set of parameters is called function overloading. So here in our program before calling these functions we need to do function prototyping. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here again and uh, we need to specify string. All right. Now in our main function I'm going to call this display with no parameters and then I'm going to call display with a parameter let's say anil. I'm going to save this I'm going to build and run this. So now you guys can see hi what's up that's from the display function with no parameter and hi what's up anil that's from the display function with one parameter. So the next thing that I want you guys to teach is while doing the function overloading that functions must differ in their type of parameters or the number of parameters. Here we can write another function which can take an integer value and uh, we can uh, take another function you know which takes more than one parameter but make sure that when you overload the functions they are differ in their type of parameters and number of parameters and the next thing is if you overload the function with only different return values then that is not allowed. So here for example let's say we were writing the two functions with the same name display and we are just changing the return type here let's say int and uh, just return some value return one and if we do this then we're gonna get the error or it is not allowed in function overloading and we're gonna change this one to int and no parameters in function prototyping and uh, okay now it's ready i'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see we got the error if i open up the logs it says error new declaration into display ambiguous old declaration void display that's because when you overload the functions or write more than one function with the same name that functions must differ in the type of arguments they take or the number of arguments not by the different return types so this is it guys this is about overloading functions in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and stay updated with the new videos that we're gonna make thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial